beginning with the ujjayi breath, the breath in through the nose and out through the nose. Allow there to be texture, allow there to be rhythm, and stay for the exhale. Very good. Let's prepare to warm the body now. On an inhale, let's come up over crossed ankles and have a seat right on the, the feet. Bring the feet together to touch, nice and tight, heels together, and just the gentle top of the foot stretch if you need to take a moment to spread those toes out. And then reach the arms up and high, big breath in. And as you exhale, take the hands to the back of the head, elbows point forward, open the heart. As you exhale, push the head back and then take the chin to the chest, make space behind the neck and let the ears move back behind the shoulder. Very corrected here. Pressing back and deep, maybe feel the nape of the neck releasing as the endocrine fluids drain. Very nice. On an inhale, let's rise up onto the knees. Let the knees come out about hips width distance. Tuck the toes and press the toes down into the earth. Feel the feet expanding. Reach up and high. As you exhale, take the right hand to the right hip and push the left arm deep up over the top here. Big inhale. And exhale, extend out. So nice. Here comes the sun. Inhale, sweeping both arms back and high overhead. And exhale, take that gentle half moon out to the left. Left hand supports the hip as you push to the right. And stay for the exhale. Very good. Inhale, come back to center, reach up and high. And as you exhale, just cactus and pull the elbows together behind the back. Think less about a back bend, more about this corrective, tucking the scapula back and down, palms shine forward. Lift the pelvic floor and squeeze the elbows together behind the back. One more breath. And stay for the exhale. Very good. On an inhale, sweep the arms back up and high overhead. And as you exhale, take the hands to the feet and take the crown down. Kick back through the heels and feel the low back expanding. Big inhale. Isn't it beautiful as the yoga brings the sunshine right out? You are the children of the sun. And stay for the exhale. When you're ready, release out. Come to a neutral tabletop. Shake it out if you need to. Wiggle, wiggle up the tail and stack it up in a neutral table. Cat cow. Inhale, arching. Let the heart shine. And exhale, rounding. Beautiful. Continue with the breath a few cycles through. Shoulders tucked back, stacked over wrist. Exhale, belly button up and powerful V pulls under the pubic bone. One more big breath in half. And exhale, rounding. Tuck it back, push the hip to the heel. Find that child pose. And if you'd like, come up onto the fingertips. Big breath, reach forward with the heart and surrender, sweet acquiesce, one more breath. Let the body become so supple and gorgeous. On an inhale, slide through low onto the elbows, forearms down, and find your sphinx here. Hands out wide, elbows in tight, shoulders tucked back, pull yourself up and through. What do you think, was the sphinx really Anubis? You guys heard of that? That theory that it wasn't actually a lion, but the dog. The dog is the protector. Take a big breath before the face was recarved. Interesting theory. One more breath. Lift from the crown of the head. Subtle tuck to the chin. Very good if you'd like. Power up the hands, unhinge the elbows. Get underneath the bicep. Use the tricep to align. And let the shoulders tuck back, baby cobra. Press the tops of the feet into the earth. And stay for the exhale. Very good. One more here. Relax the glutes. Nice. Belly button move first. Hinge the hip up through table. And exhale, push it back, child pose. Feel the powerful mechanics in the abdomen. Nice. 
And then on the inhale, round yourself all the way back up and come back to the neutral tabletop. Shake it out, wag out the tail, and when you're ready, square up. Kick the left leg straight back and take the right arm straight forward. Reach out. And as you exhale, plug your knee to elbow. Feel the power in the body. Inhale, lengthen again. Bend the left knee, sweep back. Find the foot with the right hand. Kick away or involve the tiger. Beautiful. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, take the right hand to the earth. Plug the left knee to the nose. And flip the left foot to the outside of the right knee. So you cross up the knees and take the knees to stack right in the middle, left foot over the top. Yeah. And cow face with the cow face legs, cow pose. And exhale, cat with the cow face legs, untuck the toes, push the hip back towards the heel. See if you can come down to have a seat between the feet. If the hip doesn't want to come all the way down, come back up onto your knees real quick. We'll place this block here and allow yourself to come. And one more actually here. Have a seat on the block. Reach the arms up and high overhead. And beautiful. Bend the left elbow. Let the right hand pull the left elbow behind the ear. And if you'd like, hold right here with the shoulder expansion. Otherwise, taking the right hand around behind the back to bind. Beautiful. Big breath in. Feel free to stay vertical or bow. Chin to chest, navel to spine, head to knee. And breathe. Really try to power up from the core. Pull the belly button back and deep. And stay for the exhale. Nice. On an inhale, come back through center. Reach both arms up and high overhead. And as you exhale, take the hands down to the earth. Come up onto the knees. And watch for your block. Shoot the right leg straight back. Bend the knee, right leg. Kicks back. Bend the knee, open the heart. And exhale, take the right knee to the nose. Set the right foot down between the hands. You can just kick that thing out of the way. Ninja with the block, that's right. Inhale, come up on the left toes, which means you can jump over it. And exhale, step the left foot up to meet the right for Sunday. Nice halfway lift, lengthen the low spine. And exhale, fold it down and deep. Three breaths at the bottom. In through the nose, out through the nose. Find the texture. Find the rhythm in the breath. And when you're ready, gently micro bend the knees if you need to. Burst all the way up high. Or the hastasana hands reach to the sky. Bring the hands together into the steeple grip. And take the chandrasana to the right side. Powerful. As you feel the squareness in the hip. Press out and deep. And gaze up and under as you stay for the exhale. Very good. Inhale, come back up and through center. Reach up and high. And exhale to the opposite side. Big breath in, fill up the heart. And take it so deep. Try to look up and under the armpit, stack the side body, and hold. Very good. Inhale, come back to the center, strong and square. Exhale, cactus the back bend as much as feels good. If you want to take the hands into the sacrum, into the dimples, and push forward, stay for the breath. Inhale, circle the elbows up and high behind the ears. Exhale, Pranam Namaskar, Uttanasana. Very nice. Hands down to the earth. Inhale, step the right foot back. Exhale, left foot follows into dog. Take a breath in dog. Push the hip back in square. And flatten the three inches below the belly button. Inhale, bend the knees a lot. Keep gazing back. Squat so low. As you exhale, straighten the legs, scoop from behind the heart as you push the hip back and high. Rotate the shoulder out, nice strong arm up and through the shoulder and dog. One more breath. Stay for the exhale. 
Inhale, shift the weight forward, shoulders over wrists. And exhale, knees, chin, chest, slide through, baby cobra. Elbows stay bent as much as you need to. Shoulders tucked back and down. Tops of the feet, grip the earth, pulling back towards the shin. Relax the glutes. Lift from the crown of the head. Subtle tuck to the chin, expands the nape of the neck. Feel the body. Expand the psoas. Gripping in all points of contact in the hand. And stay for the exhale. Belly button moves first, hinge the hip up through table. Exhale, push it back, top pose. Inhale, round it all the way up through cat. Boy, it feels so good to do yoga. Come back to the neutral tabletop. It really does make the sun come out. It dries up all the rain. And allow yourself to feel the magic in the body. Square it up. Kick the right leg straight back and reach the left arm forward long. Power up and plug it in, exhaling. Inhale, lengthen and sweep back. Bend the right knee, find the foot. Full control. Big breath in. Kick away. Inhale, lengthen again. And exhale, left hand to earth, right knee to nose. And plug that right foot to the outside of the left knee. Go ahead and square up. Grab your block, inhale, arch the spine. Let the heart shine. First inhale, arching. The other way, arching. Arching, and exhale, rounding. <laughs> there you go. All the way back, heart to speak, Joa. <laughs> I give you guys a lot of credit. I sometimes wonder what I'm even saying. Inhale, circle the arms up and high overhead. And let the right elbow bend, left hand pulls the right elbow behind the ear, stack it. Feels so good, and if this is groovy enough, feel free to stay right here. Or if you'd like to take the left hand around behind the back. And breathing. Big inhales. Use the back strength to tuck the scapula in. Exhale, navel to spine, chin to chest, head to knee. Powerful squeezing from the root. Manifest the kundalini in the chakras of the lower abdomen. Bring it together into the heart with the chakras of the higher ethereal realms. Manifesting the kundalini with the shakti the Adi Yogi, the super human being. On inhale, come back up and through center, releasing both arms to reach high overhead as the blood flows from the shoulders. And exhale, hands down into the earth. Rise up, shoulders over wrists, kicking that left leg back to bend the knee, left leg back. Open the heart, and exhale, plug in knee to nose. Set the left foot down between the hands. Rise up on the right toes, inhale. And as you exhale, step the right foot up to meet the left. Nice halfway lift and lengthen. Maybe the hands start to work the earth. And exhale, fold down and deep. Three breaths at the bottom. Push the earth away. Powerful, feel the head of the femur in the hip socket. And find the breath. One more. When you're ready, burst all the way up and high, or Vahastasana hands to the sky. As you exhale, find your back bend. Maybe take the hands down to the thighs. Push the heart forward, power through the toes, and hold. Very good. Inhale, sweep it back up and high behind the ears. Exhale, pranam, namaskar, uttanasana. Hands down, half lift. 
Exhale, left foot steps back, right foot follows into dog. Find that dog. Beautiful breath, square the hip back. Grip in, shoulders roll out. Powerful V pulls up under the pubic bone. Big inhale, shift the weight forward over the wrists. Exhale, low chaturanga down, quadriceps, stay lifted, scrape in between the elbows, push to the tops of the feet, roll the shoulders back up, diggity dog. And exhale, back to your down dog, tuck the toes, push the hip back and square. Prepare. Inhale, gaze forward, bend the knees a lot. Exhale, step, float, or fly. Feet come down between the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, step or float. Even chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And exhale, back to the down dog. Take a big breath. Push the hip back and square. Prepare. Inhale, gaze forward, bend the knees a lot. And exhale, step or fly. Feet come down between the hands. Halfway lift, inhale. And exhale, sit the hip low, lift the heart high, chair. Utkatasana. Ten toes, two knees, one line. Heart shine. Shoulders back and deep. Squeezed. Anchor low. Hold. Breathe. And inhale. Exhale, fold to the earth. Very nice. Hands down, half lift. And exhale, step or flow. Your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And exhale, down dog. Big breath in dog. Settle in now. And take your time here. Gripping in with ten fingers, shoulders roll out, feel the strength manifest all of the power of the human body straight through the solar plexus. Allow the third eye vision to be so strong, maybe tiptoe forward just a little bit. And pressing back and deep. One more inhale here. Stay for the breath. There. And on an inhale, let's flow. Take the right leg up, open the hip, big long line. Powerful peeling away. As you push through a strong, straight arm, Feel your connection to the earth and power up. Open through the side body. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, kick the right leg back, long, strong, and square. Exhale, take that right knee cross to the left elbow, touch, hold, fly if you'd like, or just hold, and then extend the right leg out. And let's find fallen triangle. Push the right foot forward. That's the right foot. Yeah, right hand to the earth. Left arm sweeps up and high. Fallen triangle. Like a sculpture in the park. And stay for the breath. Inhale, circle the left arm back and high. Exhale, left hand to the earth. Inhale, right leg comes back up, three dog. Exhale, right knee to nose. Set the right foot down between the hands and rise up, Dekasana. Balancing on the right foot, fingertips. Stay for the exhale, right hand stays to the earth. Dial the left hip open. Take the left hand up, gaze up. Ardha Chandra Asana. And if you'd like, Chapasana, bending the top leg and kicking the leg. Beautiful breath. In through the nose. Out through the nose. 
and then we'll extend back through standing half moon and inhaling. As you exhale, set the left foot down and let's sweep all the way back to the reverse warrior with the bind. Left hand comes around behind. Sink deep, hold. Power out of the back foot. Heel toe knee in a line on the front. Up, up, up. Nice, one more. Boy, it's warmer already. And inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, tick tock, star sideways. And exhale, fold, cross three to A. Hands down to the earth, a little bit toes in, heels out, halfway lifted. Exhale, walk it back in two, finding your prostrated variations. If you like it, prostrated A. Take the hands back and pull with the palms. But of course, you can grab hold of the legs or whatever other variations feel good at this point. Find a big internal rotation, very nice. You saw me coming. And stay for the exhale, gorgeous Natalie. Good job. Even the pinky toes work. So powerful. Nice job, Ali the Valley Cat. And on an inhale, walk the hands back out in front to the halfway lifted. As you exhale, travel around to the back of the mat. Dip the hip, lift the heart. Beautiful. Exhale, straight hand bow. Really nice. Rebend the left leg. Keep the right hand to the earth. Circle the left arm up and high. Runners lunge with the simple twist. And as you exhale, roll it out to the outer edge of both feet. Gazing back, dancing moon. Take a moment and let it go smoothly with the breath. One more inhale. Shoulders away from the ears. And inhale, left arm sweeps back up and through. Exhale, travel back to the top of the mat. Dip the hip and pop the hip, lift the heart. And exhale, straighten and bow. Gorgeous. Inhale, re-bend and step up, feet hip width. A little bit better if you'd like. Inhale and squat it, malasana. Yoga squat, I don't know if it was you guys I was telling the other day. By the way, I feel like, to me, it's been like one class forever, so if I repeat myself, I apologize. But yeah, I did a couple classes without this, and don't ever do yoga without this posture. <laughs> this is a great posture. Malasana, man, I tell you, it is good for the hips. Squeeze deeply, and press out with the elbows, feel the expansion in the wrist. Ground through all four corners of the feet. Subtle tuck to the chin, shoulders back. Power in the move. Lift the perineum. Tuck the hip under. And wrap the arms out around the shins. Take yourself into a little package and squeeze it down for three breaths. Press the top of the hands back against the glutes. And use the arm strength to leverage. Leverage yourself down. Hollow the core. And Stay for the breath. And then when you're ready, take the knees in deep into the armpits and use that same kind of leverage motion. Palms forward and just pull back. Try to pull your heart through and really feel this connection. See how the knee is pressing my tricep out and I'm making this powerful connection. Take that connection to the earth. Lift up powerfully through the belly button and keep that squeezing to find your Bakasana Crow. The more you stack, the more you lift, the more ease you'll find. We'll float on an exhale, big inhale. And exhale, step or float back. Your Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, Cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Come back to the breath, beautiful, you guys. I apologize, I think there's a few flies in here because it's cold outside. Walk the feet or the hands a little closer so that the heels have a great chance of coming down to the earth. Beautiful. And breathing. Feel the space behind the heart. Feel the space behind the neck. Gorgeous. Inhale, left leg comes up, open hip. Big long line of freedom, powerful. As everything peels away, Feel the expansion, feel the side body, and hold. Gorgeous. 
Inhale, kick back, strong, long and square. Exhale, take the left knee across to the right elbow. Make the connection and hold, or feel free to fly, EPK2. And we'll extend out and push the left leg forward, fallen triangle. Heart to the sky, sun in your eye. Push the earth away. Feels so good each moment. Stay for the breath. Inhale, circle the right arm overhead. Exhale, right hand to the earth. Inhale, re-thread, left leg up, three dogger. And exhale, left knee to nose. Set the left foot down between the hands. Rise up, date Casano to balance. Fingertips if you like them. On an inhale, steer the hip open. Take the right arm up and high. You keep a micro bend in that standing leg for balance if you need to. You maybe chop off some and grabbing the top foot. Nice. Focus, kicking away. And breathe. When you're ready, transition back through Ardha Chandrasana, exhaling down the right foot and stepping back into bound, reversed warrior. The right arm comes around behind and 90 degrees on the back foot. Heel to knee in a line on the front. Sink deeper. And very good. Inhale, press the front leg straight to reverse. And exhale, tick tock sideways, star. Exhale, add on skandhasana left. And sink deep. Stay for the exhale, always pause on that one. Inhale, back up through center, star. Exhale, skandhasana right. Beautiful breath. And sink. Inhale, burst up, star. And exhale, head down. Feet to the back edge of the mat. Crown down. Take the hands out wide. Fingertips to the earth. Start to think about coming up into the wide headstand. Take the toes back to this edge of the mat. And then let the head come about here. Crown down. Take your hands and reach back here. Yeah, fingertips pointing the other way. Yeah, strong fingers, and just let yourself pivot up. Radical yogi. Ah. All day long. And breathing. When you're ready, come down with the wide legs, hinge at the waist, let the feet come back to that wide slit. Yeah. Man, we got a yogi on our hands. Good job. Walk it back out in front of the halfway lift. It Stay for the exhale, power up the core, take the hands behind the back, cross the to B, pull the fists together, and take it back and through. This time, bring the chin towards the chest and see if the hands won't come all the way down. Breathe, reaching for the earth, taking your time, a little bit toes in, heels out. Where's that alley in the valley? <laughs> it's far today. One more breath. Stay for the exhale. Very nice. On the inhale, walk the hands back out in front for the halfway lift. Exhale, travel to the back of the mat. Facing the back of the mat, dip the hip with the heart lizards. Exhale, straighten out, bow, lunge cow. Very good. Rebend the front leg, left hand stays down. Sweep the right arm up, runner's lunge, simple, twisting. And exhale, drift it to the outer edges of both feet, gazing back. Shoulders away from the ears. Sink. Inhale, circle the right arm back overhead. Exhale, travel all the way back up to the top of the mat. Dip the hip, lift the heart. Exhale, straighten and bow. Gorgeous. Very nice. Inhale, 
inhale, re-bend, step up, feet together to touch. Halfway lift. And fold. Three breaths. Grab the back of the calf if you'd like. Let the heart move down and deeper. On inhale, sit the hip low, lift the heart high, chair. And exhale, prayer twist. Left elbow hooks to the right. And feel free to hold here or come up onto the toes. Take both hands down. Let the right elbow also connect the hip. Keep the left elbow hooked in. And then you're just going to pin it up. You're actually laying on the right arm more than anything. So good. Little by little. Then the elbows a lot. Lift your butt higher by your, with your toes. Just like get up on your toes close up. You'll get there. You see how it's happening now. That's right. And let that be the experience for today. Very good. Let's meet back in the chair. And exhale. Find the prayer twist to the opposite side. So the foundation of this really is the twist. Getting so powerful with the twist. Once you have that really strong twist, you can hook deeply and taking the left elbow into the side body to let yourself float. You might side, find one side is easier, easier than the other. And get the hands down. Yeah, you got a grip leg right now. And a lot of times it's the wrist. Watch your back foot for now. A lot of times it can be the wrists, you know? Yeah, painful, right? So it took, took me a long time for my wrists. And even still. Oh, okay, come back to the chair. Yeah, our carpal tunnels are actually a very sensitive region. Big inhale, and exhale, fold to the earth. Your choice, Chaturanga, step, float, fly, or Bakasana, throw if you like it. I'm skipping it. Inhale, dog or cobra, Stacey's in mind. And nice alley. Exhale, back to the down dog. Take a big breath in, dog. And walk the hands all the way back to the feet. This is a nice one for the wrists. Pada Hastasana. Take, bend the knees as much as you need to. Take your toes right up into the wrist crease. And breathing. Big inhales. Big exhales. You can straighten the legs if that feels good. And when you're ready, gently release. Grab opposite elbows. Ragdoll. Take the hands down to the earth. Inhale. Take the left foot and just touch the back of the left wrist. <laughs> Take the left foot down. Inhale. Touch the right foot to the back of the right. See if you can keep your hands down. Yeah, there you go. Put the right foot back down. One more left time. Touch the back of the wrist. Very good. And in the right. There you go. One more time each side. See if you can get a little higher. And you're just noticing that oblique, yeah? Very good. Very nice. When you're ready, bring the feet back to touch. Round yourself up to standing nice and gentle. Circle the arms up and high overhead. And take the hands to pranam. Take a step into the middle of the mat. And maybe take the left hand to the left hip. Bend the right leg and see if you can grab the right shin as close to the knee as possible. Dhamdi Amana Dhanurasana, different than dancer. Try to hinge forward and start to lift the top leg, standing bow. Pulling, steady focus, kicking up and high. And when you're ready, try to come back through with so much control. Release. Very nice. Let's find the opposite side. Bouncing on the right foot. So see what you can do to really get your grip high into the shin. And you'll notice that once you, even like, I've seen people who grab it almost like the knee, because it leaves space 
I mean, Alley Blue Ballet doesn't need the space, but for those of us who are normal, just kidding. Nobody's normal out here. Sorry. Find the breath. And oh, we're fine here. <laughs> we're better than normal. That's for sure. Come through. Release it out with control. Normal would be boring. Very good. Come back so you have space and reach the arms up and high. Exhale, sit it into chair. Drinking with the birds, inhale. And come down to the knees. Elbows down. Feel free to face the wall here for your pinch up. But first begin with your dolphin dog. And you can take those feet out wide for dolphin. Let yourself snuggle in here. Take the time to open the shoulder. Dolphin dog has definitely changed my life. There was a time when there was no way I was pushing back this feet. To get the shoulder to move back into the socket, to reactivate those back muscles, to make a strong connection, to make space across the chest, really, create so much comfort. Allow yourself to hold as long as feels good. And then when you're ready, think about your feathered peacock with the forearms. And I'll come around to make any assistance if it's needed. Although, feel free to work with the wall or any other aids that you may need. Elbows a little tight. Nice. And always think of the hands as like animal hands. Really. Hip up high. Then you stand the legs up. Push back first just to get this going. Now look forward. And even try to like see the thumbs. I always kind of put my, my like drishti like pop. And then bring up here. Give me this one. Just bring one leg up. And just do the squeeze up. Squeeze my squeeze my leg. Sorry, squeeze my arm between your legs. Pinch my arm. So this leg comes up. Pinch my arm. Pinch me hard. Yeah, and use the pinching of my arm and holding. It's been a while. When you're ready, you just come I'm down with that leg again. So That's really good. That's how it starts. That's radical. Be proud of that. <laughs> Feels, feels wild, yeah. Wasn't that amazing, man? Okay, I'm here, so you don't need me. But you can go. You can use me. Kick it like you want to kick me. Because that's what takes you to the point. And I think you can even kick it a little harder. You didn't even come close to kicking me. I can grab it. And I think you want it here, even. Because once you get your fingers in the game, and then your psoas in the game, and your thighs in the game, there it is. Shoulders in the game. Sorry. Sorry. I saw you going, I was like, in the way, I didn't know what to do. Um, your shoulders look tight today. Feels it, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Just especially this one. Look for a little bit. Mine feels <laughs> every day. Yeah. Let's see it now, I'm here for you. Swimmer foot, swimmer foot. Now you got snowboard foot. Power up, power up. Oh. And lift it too. Oh. Lift on your toes. And and work on your toes. And work those fingers, work the thumbs. There it is. Yeah, there it is. He's back. Uh, yeah, that's good. Back, Let me see you, Valley. Let's go full sports. <laughs> Let's go sports with the assist. She, she almost balanced on her. Full on. That looks not right. That now we need to take it over and just use, use your core strength still though too, yeah? And then I'm gonna let you fold with it today. Go for it, cross it up. And that's just ridiculosity. <laughs> Next time, mama, but that's really cool though. <laughs> Great job. Okay, and as Natalie so adequately realizes, now we'll find our <laughs> supported headstanding because this is really where this posture comes in. 
Um, after we've done a lot of this invigorated movement, we'll take the nice meditated headstand, take the hands to the back of the head, let the elbows be kind of in that tight position, bring the hip right up over the heels, over the shoulders, and just bring the heels up to the glute in the pee pod, and then press it to the sky, and I'll come around and offer any assistance where it's needed. A meditative headstand, elbows a little tighter. I think in, in this you'll find a nice sort of stack, and a little bit chin to chest, other way, so you're kind of there. Nice, now bring it up, walk it forward, and yep, press it to the sky, keep it strong in the core, pull back in tight here, and actually I want to see the hip come the other direction, very good. Now pull the toes back towards the elbows, and imagine this fake line between here and here, and then pull your belly button in that line, other way, so let the belly button come opposite of that. And then the legs come back. Whew. Yeah. I'm not letting you go. Watch. Squeeze it together. Squeeze it. One more. That's where it is. I'm not letting you go. Put your head. Oh. When you're ready, bend the knees. Bend the knees and feet together. Yep. Nice and tight. Natural. Oh, yes. Good job. Well, you guys never cease to amaze. Never, never, never. Beautiful. Go ahead and take your hands down, Sean. And roll the shoulder back. This is wonderful though. I'd like to see these heels more connected and this a little bit more in a line. Okay, now take the hands down. Let the shoulder roll back. Yeah, see now I didn't do anything, but you dipped a little here. Yep. 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 Nice go for that. Really powerful. You see that that was subtle. That was such a small bit. Oh, that was like the, the minuscule sound. I'm sorry, I forgot. There's a map. It's crazy. It's like just like this. It's like such a subtlety. Let's see some handstand with me. Okay, so hands down, downward facing dog ish, like a shortened down dog. Take your favorite leg up high and just bend this leg or bend the bottom leg and just jump, kick, and let's see it. Yeah, yeah, right. You're right there. Oh, okay, I got you. No, no. I got you. And then, so, see, now lean your shoulder onto my knees. And that's what you're going to see where there's a lot of strength. That's where the balance is. Yeah, nice. So then you got the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> nice quest for the press, Ali Bugali. Yeah. Nice. Nice, you guys. Wow, everybody's doing it. I like it. How about the drop back, chaturanga, pop it up, find the, here, feet together, mermaid, feet, mermaid heels, no, no, not that, <laughs> because you're going to come to the top of your toes, bend the elbows, and I'm going to spot you, drop back, oh, yeah. good. that was good, <laughs> that was very cool, very cool, yeah, that's a lot of fun, when you can get that, that feeling, You know, the control. But there's some strength there. Good times. You want to get one? Huh? Not bad. No, see. I can't. I'm not even close to it. Not today. <laughs> 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 not even close to it. Let's see the drop. Let's see the drop back. You got it. Me? Yeah. Pop up. Me. <laughs> now, bend the elbows. <laughs> That's pretty good. Press for the press. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, Nemo yeah. Mommy is not a joke when it comes to being a superhero. Yeah. yeah you, so it's almost like you got to trust yourself. 
to come under it is here. But that's good. Beautiful, you guys. Intense top of the foot stretch. Take a moment, bring the knees together. And power up now. Snap, crackle, and pop them. Very good. It's an orchestra. Yeah. And when you're ready, take them out. Isn't that nice? Gorgeous. Pashimottanasana. Arms up and high. And navel back and deep. Hinge. Fold. And push the head of the femur deep back into the hip socket. Take your time. Smooth it all out. Breathe. rise up. Let's find the right foot. Stir the pot and take the right leg up and over the right shoulder as much as possible. The yoga backpack as it's work. Take the right hand down to the earth. And so bend that elbow so you have kind of take your right hand down, palm down. Palm down, no fingertips like that, palm. And see if you get the elbow out to the side a little. So this is going to become like a swing set. And this is what we call Ekahasta Bhujasana. And you use the, the gripping of the leg to lift. And then if you want, you can hook it up and take your Astabhakrasana. But little by little, and in, in the beginning, you're just going to want to see if you can just start to hoist with that leg. Yeah, yeah. And as you go hand down to the earth, and just lift it. Yeah, watch, you got it already though. It's going to happen. So that's a great start. Very good. Nice off the bees. And let's take the opposite side. Scoop up the left. That's a beautiful arm balance. I gotta say that's one of my faves. And taking the left leg up over the left shoulder, the other backpack, because there's a simplicity to it and an awesome up like beauty. Power up the core. Like the Hasta Bhujasana, the Hasta Bhakrasana. <laughs> face plant. Yeah, face plant, you're good too. So the key is getting it up as high over time as possible so you kind of create like a jungle gym for yourself to swing on. But you know, yeah, space. Boom. That's just amazing, you know. I love it. So in different directions. Woo! That's cool. When everybody's kind of, yeah. I know the circle, one day we'll have a big, like, circular studio. Oh, that'd be cool. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, just a big circle. Okay, when you're ready, scoot to the top of the mat and roll the shoulders back. Let the heart shine forward and allow yourself to fold into the butterfly, Baddha Konasana, pushing strong the feet together. And as you hinge over, release out the sacrum. Sorry, you little flies. We got a whole family of cold flies in here today. They're <laughs> like, oh, this was Hawaii, man. Thanks for making some sweaty warmth. You're welcome, flies. Breathe it out. And we did get some warmth going today. Good job. Take your time, maybe one day hooking the toes all the way under the chin. And then when you're ready, let's rise up and hover on the sit bone. Pull the knees into the chest, float the feet, reach out around the shins, and hug yourself into a nice little ball. Bring the third eye to touch the knees. Come back to your intention. Come back to the breath here. Flatten the three inches below the belly button. And stay for the exhale. Keep the feet together, knees together. Let the peace fingers grab the big toes. Try to keep the elbows in tight as you extend up and bow head to knee. Jhana Sushana, upward facing.
And then when you're ready, bend the knees and down the spine. Set up for success though, all the way back. Feet come up over the head for plow. I feel I meant to do that scenario. <laughs> Stack the navel up over the chin. Mm, and take your time. Halasana. Breathe it out. Maybe press the hands flat to the earth behind you. Expand the wing pipe. And then when you're ready, support the low spine, bend the knees. Push the legs straight up in the sky. Sarvanga asana, queen of all the asanas. Shoulders standing, power, blood flow. Smooth out the breath. Big inhale. And exhale the knees to the side face. Karmakandasana, ear pinning pose. Close off the sound of the outside world. Squeezing in against the side face. Pressing the earth behind you. When you're ready, gently roll down <coughs> one vertebra at a time, keeping the knees hugged into the chest until the low back finds the earth. Reach up around the feet, flatten the sacrum down, Ananda Balakasana, blissful baby. Oh, the body loves the yoga. And it does take every bit of this. Is you? Yes, probably. Every bit of this practice to get yourself to this point. And this point we find ourselves now. Ready to open the heart so big before we give it all back. Take the feet down to the earth. Grabbing the ankles if that feels good. Tugging the shoulders under. Pressing the pelvic dish up high for bridge. Press the chest towards the chin with the leg strength so strong. Active. Alive. You are that sunshine hitting the body. Take the hands up and over the head, or Padani Rasana, rising upward facing low. Stack the shoulder. Push the earth away. And when you're ready, gently take it back to the earth. Bring the knees up and into the chest. Big squeeze. And exhale the right leg out long. Left knee twisting across to the right side, gazing out over the left. Final spinal twist. Enjoy this beautiful release. I thank you, yogis, for participating in the morning practice. This is our only morning class of the week currently. And I have to say, I feel the strongest during this class always. There's an invigoration that happens with a new day. And when you start the day with this yoga practice, the rest of the day is a smooth, blissful experience. Inhale, bring the legs back together and the chest bending the knees. And exhale the left leg out long and right knee twisting. And unfortunately, the only reason that we're not having morning classes is because people need to work, people have jobs. And that's the reality of this society. But I do see a flaw in that that we are made to prioritize this income based lifestyle versus the self love based lifestyle. And I have nothing but the strongest confidence that we are moving into a time when the self-love 
lifestyle will once again become known as the priority. And the capitalistic ego mind that wants to achieve material will once again just become a fun game we play, but not anything that we identify a true nature. On an inhale, come back into center, bring the knees into the chest, reach up around the shins and squeeze it out, bring the third eye to touch it. You can even press forward to rock and roll a little if that feels good. And when you're ready, legs straight up, right hand tummy, left hand heart. Let the blood flow down to the root of the spine. back to the breath. Very nice. One more big inhale. And as you exhale, press the legs out wide in the splits. Any final movements calling you, take them now. And then when you're ready, stretch out long on the mat. Give the breath to the body. And give the body to the earth. In this Final exchange. The simplicity of each breath. See a full cycle, karmic evolution of life and death. Allow the inhale to be your birth as you're filled with the experience of the material world until the body reaches its capacity, at which point you begin to give back until you find yourself again empty of any breath in the space of pure consciousness, super consciousness, your true home. Allow each breath the opportunity to transcend karmic lifetimes here, now, in Shavasana. sensation in the body, 360 degrees of perception and awareness, powerful, radiant human being, natural born perceiver, and a natural creature on earth, perfectly suited to thrive in your environment blissfully, with ease. Feel so good about your yoga practices. Feel so good about where you are at this point along your path. Realizing that every step you take is the right step. You can't take a wrong step. You might slow your process or speed it up, but it's the process that you endure that is life itself. And so be there as the kind awareness watching over the human as it moves through its day, moves through its life and slowly becomes the most beautiful aspect of itself possible. When you're ready, bring the movements back through the small joints of the fingers and the toes. And slowly make your way to either side of the body and then back to a quiet seat meditation. We'll close our session with the chanting of Om. Our three Oms together as mantra, as medicine, and a very, very powerful experience.
experience to share in the vibration of the universe and feel the power of the wind today as the wind of your own life moves through the body in these powerful three ohms. One full breath together, inhale. Open mouth, let it go. Namaste. 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 Namaste.